Hey guys, this is War Turtle. I'm here to talk to you about how to update any merges that you need to correct because you made a mistake or like today it's guide update day and things have changed. So uh, I'm busy updating my own guide and thought I'd take the time to show you how to fix any problems you have. Uh, this is a common question we get over at the Discord. Uh, so hopefully this is a useful video for you. The first thing that we're going to do is make sure that we're on our main profile and up here at the, at the Tools button in Mod Organizer 2, we're going to go to Merge Plugins Hide. The very first thing you want to do is unhide all of your merges. We're going to highlight them all using a shift click, right click on them and choose Enable Plugins. This does a couple of things. First, when you update your mods, it makes sure that you don't leave an old file behind in the optional folder. That causes problems with merge plugins hide down the road if you don't do that. Second, when you switch to your merge profile, this makes sure that all of the mods, all of the plugins that you're uh, merging stay in the correct order uh, of the merge. If you switch profiles first, it turns everything out of order and you have to spend all this time reorganizing them. Today we're going to update the miscellaneous merge. That's where I'm at in my install. When I switch over, and you can see at the bottom of my right pane, I have all of the plugins that were previously in my miscellaneous merge, all in the correct order. But what I'm going to do first is verify that. So I'm going to minimize my mod organizer because I've got the Lexi website pulled up here in the background. And I'm going to scroll up here to miscellaneous merge. And I'm just going to start at the top of the merge and work my way down, verifying one by one they're correct. Dynamic firewood stacks, no scripts patch, hanging tap roots, all the way down to the bottom. And I've done this, uh, and they all are in the correct order. But when you get to the bottom, you can see that there are new plugins that are now being added to this merge. So we have to activate them. The quick way to do this is to use the filter of the left pane, and we're going to type spell. And you can see it pulls up any mod with spell in the name of it, and I'm going to activate the four that we need for this merge. The last one is the miscellaneous merge consistency patch, M-I-S-C. We type that into the filter, and the consistency patch pops up. Now that I've done that, I have to make sure that they're in the correct order. Display sp spell scroll level, that's not the first one. The first one is spell tome level. We're going to pull that up. Then the spell tome level apocalypse. Then the display spell scroll level and the spell scroll level apocalypse patch. Last is the merge consistency patch. So now everything is in the correct order, but you see that we do have some missing masters that we have to resolve. The first one here is apocalypse. So again, in the left pane, I'm going to type Apocalypse. Here it is. We add it. The missing master warning goes away. The next one is Cutting Room Floor. Again, C-U-T-T. -T. Here we are. Quickly added. The things that we need to do, though, are move the masters up above the files to be merged. If you remember, we're no longer using loot to sort the masters. That's an unneeded step. So at this point, we've resolved all of our missing masters. The only warning I have is that there are files in my overwrite. I can ignore that safely. And I'm going to go to Z Edit and Run. When you start to update your merges, first we'll choose Z Merge, um, there are a few steps that you need to do to make sure that it all ends up correct. First, we'll maximize the screen to give us an adequate view and we'll scroll down to miscellaneous merged. You can see that Zedit thinks everything is up to date, but it doesn't know that we've added plugins to our build. So we need to click edit. First we'll click load order and ensure that this is checked. It should be um, if you followed the guide correctly. Uh, and this makes sure that the plugins that Zmerge is listing is in the same order as Mod Organizer. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see here are our plugins to merge in the same order that we've verified, but we need to activate the ones that we just added. If you accidentally merge a plugin into a merge, all you do is you unclick it and then you rebuild it. 
it's, it's a very easy process to fix any problems here. You can see these are green because they've never been added before. This merge is now ready to be built, and I'm going to click Build. This is all there is to it. And any time that you're updating a merge, you do this. It's the same process. Unhide your plugins, switch to the merge profile, get the plugins in the correct order, make sure there are no missing masters, and build your merge in Z-Edit. So we're done. We're going to close this out. I'm going to switch back to my main Lexi profile. And then when I go to my merge plugins hide, here, I'll delete my filter so all of my mods appear. And when I go here, what I should be able to do is click miscellaneous merge, right click, and choose disable plugins. It switches everything to inactive. That's what you want to see. And now you can go on to your next merge. I hope that this has been helpful. If it is, be sure to like and subscribe. Come over to the help desk on the Discord if you have any questions. We're always happy to help.